whether it's Spain, which has been in a bear market for over two years, or the South Korean Kospi index, which was down another 1.3% uh, uh, overnight. It doesn't really quite matter to me if Spain's bouncing this morning off its lows. If you're just like looking at the daily, okay, first of all, on the daily, China was down 1.1%. But if you look all the way back, I mean, that's, that's what a bear market looks like. And I get it, there's a push. There's a push and there's a pull. The pull is the gravity. Uh, and the push is for you to always buy stocks, right? Uh, they don't have uh, Jim Cramer in China. Oil, when it was down this morning, uh, earlier, uh, futures were down and then they bounced them. And now oil's bounced a little bit, but really oil can go back to 10. It is a, a factor that drove the bounce. It is a big reason why I bought stocks broadly. I went to zero shorts on Tuesday, don't forget, got long, was long into yesterday's open, into lunchtime I started making the sales, and again, it's where do you make the sales? Are you comfortable saying that I'm super bearish on the cycle, uh, having called it the cycle, uh, and at the same time I can be long? Can you do that? What did high yield do when the S&P 500 at one point was up almost 1.5% on the day? What did it do? Nothing. I can only get skinnier and I can only get better. So you got to get better. You got to look at a dashboard of risk factors that got us set up to not lose 20, 30, 50% of our money and still use the same dashboard to call the bottoms and tops within the risk range. 